Welcome back to Pentagram Prime, everybody. Today's episode will be on tensor products. Um, <clears throat> what we will be doing here is, um, well, it's complicated, but trust me, it serves a purpose. So as you can see here, we have uh, two vectors, uh, two by two vectors, and they are going through an operation of some sort as seen here. This uh, symbol here used to cause me frustration uh, every time I saw it, and worse, every time I tried to do a Google search for it, I didn't really like the uh, lessons I was getting on how it was presented. It was only in the last few weeks that I actually saw something on the internet that did a decent job, but it was embedded within a one-hour lesson, so I'm going to try to keep this relatively short. So what are tensor products? We have, uh, on this side, we have two vectors um, here, x, y, cross, i, j. i got to find out what that thing's actually called. I think it is called a cross, but either way. And then the uh, operation gives us a 4 by 1 vector where we take the, uh, well, you can see it here, uh, the first, uh, first component of the first vector on the first two elements of the, uh, the 4 by 4 vector multiply times the components on this thing over here. And then we do the same operation down here. Um, so, you know, xi, xj times yi, yj. Should be simple. Any issues, talk to me in the comments. So let's do a simple example. You're going to find a lot of people do uh, use these with uh, ones and zeros. Um, so we have uh, uh, 1 over 0 cross 0 over 1. That is equal to 1 times nothing times 1, uh, then for the second element, 1 times 1, and then 0 times 0, and finally, 0 times 1, giving us a 4 by 1 vector of 0, 1, 0, 0. And if you don't know who Edward Group is, you're probably better off. Another example using the 1s and zeros is uh, 1, 0 cross 1, 0, giving us 1 times 1, 1 times 0, 0 times 1, 0 times 0, all that equaling a 4 by 1 vector of 1, 0, 0, 0. Very, very simple this thing is. And I just wish somebody had put on more examples on Wikipedia. But it gets even better when you start using trigonometric uh, um, you know, trig ratios. And uh, that's what we will do here. So we have... 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, uh, cross 1 half, root 3 over 2. Um, those of you uh, well versed in trigonometry will be familiar with uh, some of these uh, formulas. Uh, this item over here is uh, essentially a 45 degree vector. And this one over here is 60 degrees uh, with a sine, uh, sine value of 1 half and a cosine value of root 3 over 2. So we carry out the operation uh, just as we did before. We, I'm not going to recite all of these formulas because i um, finding out lately uh, not too many people really want to listen to me talk. And uh, then we're going to multiply them together over here. And we get what Dr. Weird referred to as this thing. What is it? I don't know. Go stand over here, and then I think Steve gets attacked by flying uh, flying cobs of corn or something. I don't know. Um, but the interesting thing about this thing is that if I square this term, and I add it to the square of this term, and I add it to the square of this term, and I add it to the square of that term, um, what I just described is the magnitude of that vector, and it should come out to 1. And that's important because if you multiply these vectors via this operation, and these are both uh, unity vectors, uh, then they will, um, the vector on the other side will also be equal to 1, as far as I know. Don't quote me on that, but pretty sure that's how it turns out. Um, this operation wouldn't be useful otherwise. Um, in all the examples I've seen, it comes out 1. <clears throat> 
maybe one of you guys can let me know if there's a rigorous proof out there of some sort. <clears throat> so that's the long and the short of it. Uh, next week I'm going to do um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a episode on taking the derivative of the natural logarithm. Um, I apologize. I think my screen capture software is cutting off on the left hand side. So you have to take my word for it. Those are T's over there. I made this thing left justified. Actually, I might be able to see if I can point this out here. Yes, I increased the size of the mouse for reviewing pleasure. There we go. Now everybody who is bothering to read is going to be able to do so. And until then, this is Pentagram Prime. Insert meaningful comment.